Hi, and welcome to another video by Fortune Buchholz of NotFortuneSchool.com. I'm sorry, it's been several months since I've had a chance to make you another video, but here I am now. I'm living in Germany, and so I've settled down and I have a moment to make a very interesting video for you. Uh, when Neil Lavelle offered uh, another um, stash of his slightly imperfect Tildwick Tarot's, um, I wanted to pick up a backup co copy. He offered it at half price, which I thought was a very good price, and he shipped it for me in a day and a half from England to Germany, and it arrived in about four days. So I think that's pretty good, and he only charged me four pounds for the shipping. But I wanted to do an unboxing video for you. Several years ago, this was a very, very popular tarot, but I don't see that a lot of people still use it. It's really a very interesting tarot, and I just wanted to open it up and show it to you. So that's what we'll do. I'm going to stop this intro now, and then we'll move on over to the actual unboxing. Thanks so much. Okay, hi everyone. So here we are on my guest couch. Uh, welcome to the gray plaid here. Okay, so this is the package that Neil sent me from England. He just sent it by Royal Mail, Air Mail. You can see it's just your basic kind of jiffy pack here. So let's just go ahead and open this. Let me attach my giant shears and hope for the best here. Okay, so we just cut this open. And you can see, uh, because this is like, I don't know, I guess kind of a remainder, this is some leftovers he had from his backup stash. Uh, it doesn't have the formal box, but you know, I don't care because I already have one with a box. And you know, boxes are so fragile really in the end, they always get banged up and scuffed up. So I usually put my decks into a nice silk bag anyway. Okay, so we take this out. As you can see here, we have your basic uh, invoice. He always has a really beautiful kind of art graphic invoice. You know, he's a graphic designer, so all of his stuff looks really, you know, styly. And here he just shipped it in bubble wrap um, with some uh, little kind of like improvised cardboard here. It looks like he, he took a shirt box, you know, maybe from like when you send your shirt out to be dry cleaned and it has the little, you know, thin cardboard shirt box or short shirt insert. And he just kind of cut one up and wrapped that around the cards. Uh, and then, you know, he just kind of taped it up. But what do you what, what do you want to say? It worked, right? Shipped internationally. So that's going to be okay. All right. So here we pull out the bubble wrap. I will not indulge you all by popping it for you, no matter how much you beg. Okay, so here we are. Here we are in his little cardboard box. And here we have the beautiful, it's shrink-wrapped. As you can see, here's the Tildwick. You know, what I always liked about the Tildewick was its haunted sense. Um, you know, it's like being in an, in an empty house, like the palace that I live in now, actually. And I absolutely cannot open this. This is so tightly shrink-wrapped that I actually cannot get purchase on the cards here. So this is kind of difficult to open uh, with the tools that I have. I'm trying to figure out how to open this. Um, you know, I may not have what it takes to open this. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I think I can get, I think I can get the edge here. You know, it's always difficult to open these well shrink wrapped, uh, gold decks because you don't want to scuff up the gold, right? Aha, got it. So now he claims that this is a second deck, you know, part of his secondary stash because he thought that they did have slight scuffs on the gold and of course they didn't have a proper box. So... I have to say here, looking at it now, that I absolutely, despite his claims, see no scuffing whatsoever on the gold. If you look, oh my goodness, look how bright and well gilded it is. It's like, whoa, ho, ho, it's freaking out my iPhone camera. You can see there are no scuffs on this gold. I don't know why this is a secondary uh, backup, you know, kind of stash type deck because I don't see that it has any imperfections in the gilding whatsoever. Let's go ahead and take a look now at its haunted house quality. Sorry, uh, the light changes, you know, how iPhones are. They, even when you set the focus, they sometimes try to refocus. It's really a beautiful deck. 
I love this quality, maybe because I live in a, in a large palace or, or a country house like this now. This deck really resonates with me. And uh, I think I don't see anything wrong with this deck at all. So I don't know if he's out of these decks. You know, these beautiful, uh, quiet, sort of contemplative Tildwick Tarot's. I don't know why people have stopped using this deck or why no one talks with this deck anymore because I think it's a wonderful deck, particularly when working with interior issues uh, about reflection, about the past, dealing with nostalgia when you're trying to, um, you know, work through those kinds of issues when things that haunt you from the past uh, come up. It's just this uh, great deck for this kind of, uh, of work. And here's the beautiful back of this deck. Anyway, so um, I'll post uh, a layout with this deck on Instagram and on my Facebook page for everyone. But I just wanted to make this quick unboxing video. If Neil uh, Lavelle has any extra of these, I highly re recommend that you order them because his service is great. Uh, unlike his Chelsea Len Lenormand, which I got and which was too stiff and unshuffable, uh, this uh, deck is beautiful. Let's go ahead and try to give it a shuffle. Uh, I know it, you know, the guild. Uh, the gold on the edges doesn't always uh, hold up when you do too much shuffling, but I have to say it does shuffle smoothly right out of the box. It's a little slick, as you can see, it slips through my hands a bit as I try to do the riffle and cascade, but you know, it's controllable. And so uh, it makes a lovely noise. It has nice paper. I think it's better than his Chelsea Lenormand. It's more usable in terms of the cardstock. Uh, so I'm loving it. If, uh, if you can run over to his Facebook page or to his website and get one of these uh, secondary stash ones for only 25 pounds plus four pounds shipping to Europe, I say go for it. I love it. Thanks so much, Neil. And thank you all so much for watching. Have a great day.